Hey guys, it's me, Sue Joy, and I'm back with another video. Uh, so today I'm going to be talking about um, why I dislike a few of these top Vietnam expat YouTubers. <clears throat> a quick disclaimer, uh, I'm not going to specifically, um, you know, um, name the channels of these YouTubers. Uh, uh, the video which I make usually make in my channel <clears throat> they're based entirely on my personal experience and also my personal opinion uh, how I feel about these uh, how, how, how I feel about some of these top uh, expat uh, youtubers here in Vietnam um, so um, you know just uh, try to um, try to take this video as a productive lesson um, uh, kind of a productive criticism uh, if you are a top youtuber here in Vietnam watching this video so um, firstly uh, it's extremely very hot here in uh, in uh, Ho Chi Minh um, you know and uh, I got some issues with my eye um, you know I, I got a cold in my eye so that's the reason why I'm wearing some shades I'm wearing my shades um, so uh, let's get on to it. Okay. Uh, so as uh, just a, a bit about myself, I've been living here in uh, Ho Chi Minh for over five years now. Uh, I'm originally from India. I started my career here in Vietnam as an English teacher. I was I used to teach English over here for 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 three and a half years, um, and then post pandemic. I decided to, I decided to venture out into digital marketing and now I run my own digital marketing business and I also make YouTube videos um, you know sharing my personal experience here in Vietnam as a non-white person as a person of color uh, I'm from India and I have dark brown skin uh, and I'm very happy with that <clears throat> so I'm not a white expat so uh, let's come back to this topic okay um, if you would, uh, if you if you would watch if you would watch my previous video about the racism problem here in Vietnam, I actually highlighted that couple of these um, you know famous YouTubers, expat YouTubers, ex expat YouTubers, predominantly coming from the West, America, United States. Um, you know they they like to go to they like to create their video and. They like to fix on one direction, you know, which is just talking about the fluff, uh, fluff here in Vietnam, you know, the best bun meat to eat, the best com tam, the cheapest com tam, this, that, uh, you know, what not to do in Vietnam, you know, all like these kind of propaganda type um, tourism videos, uh, which these expat, which these top expat YouTubers do. Now... Primarily, I feel they do it for their political gains. Um, so, like I said, I'm not going to name a, the specific channel of these YouTubers, but let me first start with the uh, with this American Viet Q uh, uh, lady. You know, she's got a lot of subscribers, and you know, she couldn't live in America. She decided to come back to Vietnam, and you know, I I went through all of her videos and. Honestly speaking, you know, they look a bit fake to me, you know, it's like, uh, you know, it's like scripted for sure, uh, because, you know, if I'm making a YouTube content, uh, I like to be unscripted. I, I don't like to keep some script in front of me or something like that. So uh, I'm straight up guy, no BS. I like to talk my mind. So, uh, you know, so most of her videos are kind of scripted and I even commented on one of her videos. I said to her that you sound like a propaganda machine or something. And I think she uh, she deleted my comment, you know, uh, because uh, she was not able to accept the reality, you know, and, you know, just, just so scripted, so fake. Uh, you know, even like the uh, the way the videos are done, created, they're so uh, scripted and fake, like a goddamn fucking Hollywood production type video, you know, like lights, camera on, uh, which I see, you know, um, some of these uh, Western top YouTubers are doing out here in Vietnam, extremely very scripted, like a goddamn Hollywood production, 
um, and you know then they try to lessen the expats over here oh what not to do here in Vietnam which is perfectly fine or you know uh, you know it's just like complete propaganda kind of stuff you know only talking about the fluff and everything and what really bothers me is that uh, they're not touching based on these sensitive topics like racism issue out here in Vietnam um, you know the discrimination problem here in Vietnam and sadly some of these uh, top expat YouTubers in Vietnam who are primarily from the United States, um, you know, there are these Western expat YouTubers, like they're just taking advantage of the white privilege, you know. Um, they're just uh, making, uh, taking advantage of the white privilege element card and, you know, just... Um, you know, because they don't want to touch base on these kind of sensitive topics, you know, which I usually address in my videos. And, you know, sometimes I, I really ask myself, you know, are, are some of these uh, top expat YouTubers, are they state sponsored? Uh, I'm not going to be t going anything into the details because I know, um, you know, I got to be very careful what I s uh, speak out in my YouTube videos. But it sounds very like, you know, like a propaganda type production video. Uh, Hollywood type scripted, uh, very fake. Uh, like I said, they want to do it for their political gains. So uh, this was for this Viet Q girl. Um, you know, she's got a lot of subscribers. And of course, like I said, when I talk about political gains, you know, like uh, she's now trying to promote her YouTube classes or something, you know. So everything is like, um, you know, the income is coming. That's all great. She's you know, now I'm going to start some kind of a course and all that stuff, uh, which is all right. But what really saddens me is that you're not touching base on the uh, on the real issues, you know, like you should have a balanced view, you know, you know, you shouldn't be just talking only about the fluff of a country, you know, but, you know, um, like I, I, I respect a YouTuber. I'm, I'm going to name him out. Uh, he's not a, he's an international YouTuber. His name is Carl Rock. And, you know, he has extensively traveled around Southeast Asia and also uh, his Gulf, his wife is from India. And, uh, you know, he's from New Zealand. And what I really like about him is he talks about the negative sides of India and also he talks about the positive sides of India, you know, the scams and everything. And, you know, he was banned from uh, entering India for a year, uh, which uh, was quite understandable because he was making repeated trips to Pakistan. Um, but, you know, I, I, I respect those kind of YouTubers because, you know, they, they have millions of sub subscribers, you know, and they like to keep you ba They like to keep a balanced view, you know, like, you know, talking about the negatives, negative aspects and also talking about the positive aspects. The problem is if you're going to too much sugar coat something, it's going to be, it's going to start looking very fake, very scripted. And definitely most of these videos, which I watch from these top expat YouTubers here in Vietnam, uh, these Western YouTubers, uh, uh, you know, it's very fake and very scripted. Um, and also, you know, let me just, um, you know, there's also this YouTuber out here in Vietnam, you know, he's quite famous. Uh, he's nationally recognized. Uh, he's pretty short. I think he's 5'5 five five or something. Uh, he's kind of fat and he's got a beard. Uh, I know the guy's history. You know, he was trying to um, he was trying to be famous. He was trying to do those kind of jackass videos uh, back home in the States. It flopped and he decided to come to Vietnam. And, you know, like I said, um, uh, the reality is some of these top expat YouTubers, you know, uh, Western YouTubers, uh, they were never successful in their country, you know, in their homeland, you know, they were like losers. Um, so, you know, what else, What best place to come, come to Southeast Asia, use your white privilege and become very successful and, you know, get nationally recognized, you know, which is what I see the trend happening right now um, here in Vietnam with couple of these top expat Western YouTubers trying to do <laughs> the role model type. So anyway, this dude out here, uh, you know, I mean, he's recognizable with his, uh, you know, red blonde uh, beard, um, you know, but what I, what, what I really feel sad about it, I mean, he's definitely, he speaks definitely very good Vietnamese. He's nationally recognized. He's even been, uh, he's even, 
uh, been there for, uh, you know, this national TV out here in Vietnam for some programs. You know, like I said, it's all for political gains because, you know, these kind of, you know, he, they, these kind of YouTubers, they feel like, okay, I'm getting recognized here. I'm getting all the recognition. Uh, you know, I'm going to use it for my political gains. Uh, I will not address the uh, negative aspects of what's happening actually here in Vietnam with, in terms of the racism problem and, you know, um, you know, the discrimination problem, you know, what other non-white expats are facing, you know, if you, you know, the lack of opportunities or teaching discrimination. So they're just keeping one, uh, one they're just focusing on making their content one direction, uh, which I think is really um, not fair. And, you know, and somebody needs to speak out about this. So, you know, so I decided to take this initiative of starting this channel to to create content which is straight up, no BS. You know, I like to speak my mind. You know, I don't like, I, I don't, I really don't give two flying fucks what, uh, you know, some of these top expat YouTubers here in Vietnam think about me or whatever it is. But I, I feel, I feel like somebody needs to speak out, speak out about this, you know. And, you know, I'm from India, I have dark brown skin and I'm not bragging about it, but you know, you, you, you guys don't know what kind of challenges I have to face here, uh, living here in, in Vietnam for five years, the discrimination problem, the racism problem, um, the attitude, the rudeness, isolation, anxiety, um, you know, and, you know, like a couple of these uh, Western YouTubers here, you know, they're like showing, you know, oh, look, I'm getting invited for a beer party, you know, they're calling me for drinks or something. Uh, because, of course, you're white, you know, and you're taking advantage of your white privilege issue, you know. So, and, you know, even, so primarily, it, it, uh, you know, uh, I have issues with a couple of these top expat Western, YouTube, Western YouTubers coming from the United States. I mean, I did my college from the U.S., so, um, you know, I'm not, a, and I lived in Europe for many years. But, um you know, why not keep a balanced view? You know, I mean, just, you know, just focusing on one, uh, one, focusing on one direction, just showing all the fluff and everything. Uh, <clears throat> so, you know, I, I, I would, I usually respect a YouTuber, you know, who's going to be having a balanced view and also going to be talking about the realities, the problems, the issues which really need to be addressed because, you know, like you got, you have a lot of subscribers, you know, even the, uh, you know, even the tourism industry of Vietnam and, you know, some government officials, they also keep tap on these YouTubers, you know, uh, and, you know, and right now, of course, Vietnam is economically, uh, you know, rapidly developing, you know, a lot of action happening in Hanoi. Uh, <clears throat> and of course, uh, you know, uh, in other parts of Vietnam, but some of these actions are being influenced by a couple of these YouTube videos, you know, like, so it would be really nice, you know, if, uh, if, 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 if one of these top expat Western YouTubers addresses these issues, you know, uh, and not just focus on the fluffs and everything, because I think that's not the way to go about it. And, uh, yeah, I mean, that, that's all about it, you know, I mean, because, <clears throat> you know, uh, I'm not going against the wind. I just like to speak my mind, you know, and, you know, if you got a problem with that, if you're a keyboard warrior, uh, go ahead, do that. You know, I don't, I really don't give two flying fucks, you know, um, and I'm not going to be disabling the comment section for this video, um, you know, and I think I'm also going to be enabling the comment section for all my previous videos <clears throat> because, you know, I just want to keep a, uh, you know, I, I want to, I want to keep an open mindset, you know, I'm not a, I'm not a pussy or something like, you know, okay, I'm scared what these keyboard warriors are going to be talking about. So, like I said, I don't give two flying fucks. Um, you know, I like to keep a reality view. So, yeah, I mean, I mean, so that's the thing, you know, and, you know, that's the reason why, you know, I've actually unsubscribed from some of these top uh, Western expat YouTubers here in Vietnam because, you know, it's just like they keep on making this Hollywood style production or... You know, the dude is getting his parents to Vietnam, which is perfectly fine. And then, you know, then, you know, trying to capitalize that, you know, make it like a, you know, like a propaganda type video, you know, like, 
uh, the, or you know, like I even know about this uh, these young YouTubers. You know, he's an American guy. You know, he travels in his motorbike extensively. Uh, I won't name this guy, but you know, he keeps on. Uh, you know, it goes to the extreme. You know, he keeps on going to all these places, showing around the food and all that, which is perfectly fine. And you know, but you're not addressing certain issues. You know, and you're like, you know, they keep on saying, you know, Vietnam is the most friendliest country. This that. Which I don't think is true because, you know, I've been living here for five years. I know what the reality is. I'm not a white person, but you're making these videos because you're using a white privilege. <clears throat> you're a white skinned person. So, uh, you know, you are just ignoring how, you know, blacks or browns are being treated out here in Vietnam. And, you know, there are a lot of these propaganda type videos, you know, where they just try to show that fake narrative. So, uh, you know, or, you know, that, that dude, you know, during Tet holidays, try to extensively show, where will I put this uh, Chinese, uh, uh, you know, placard and this orange here in my room, this, that, uh, you know, it's just like very script. I mean, very kind of a, I mean, I don't mind if you are making your fucking life as a YouTube video or when you're taking shower and showing the, your viewers, you know, what kind of freaking shampoo you're using in Vietnam. I mean, I don't have any issues with that, but uh, you know, if you are having a lot of followers and subs subscribers, you also need to keep a balanced outlook. So uh, you also need to talk about the reality, you know, it's just, you know, so uh, that's the reason why, you know, um, I have lost respect for a couple of these top expat Vietnam YouTubers here primarily coming from the States, um, you know, um, so um, according to me, they're doing it for their political gains, for recognition, brand recognition, and of course, you know, maybe in future they want to start up with a restaurant like Mark Wien's uh, or, you know, um, or just some freaking course or something like that, uh, because you know, I'm pretty sure that back home it was not very successful for you. You wanted to create that, but the best place for you to come was to Vietnam and, you know, do all this stuff. So, yeah, I mean, that's all I need to say. So, um, you know, I hope you guys found this video to be insightful and, you know, you guys have a great day. Uh, this was me, Sue Joy. Peace out.